Hi there local organizers, this is Eli and I just want to walk you through the NetSquared platform. Today we're just going to take a look at the group pages and the events that are coming in from meetup.com and I'm going to show you first what those all look like on the public front end of the site and then we'll go into the back end and do the process of creating or editing your local group pages. So first of all, this is sort of what the home page looks like when you are logged in. What you'll see is especially interesting is anyone who's logged in will now be shown the closest event because we actually know where they live. So that's one way we'll be featuring your meetup groups. Another way, of course, is you're all listed here under the people section. So under here, NetSquid Local Organizers, you can see there's a list of all the local organizers and the groups they've got. Another way that we actually have the groups on the platform is it'll be under the NetSquared Local tab and we've got a map with all of the groups that have created a page on the platform. So if you're not on here yet, time to create a little profile and I'll show you how that's done. So you'll see this nice little map, you can hover over them and it will show you the group and you can go from there to the full group page. You can also see of course down here that we are listing up again all of the groups. And this is happening automatically automatic once we've got your information on your group page and we put in your meetup credentials it automatically sucks in your event so this isn't having to be done manually. So what does that actually look like? So once you've gone into the system and created a personal account you need to then give me a quick shout and say this is my username and I will give you organizer status which means you can now if you go to this URL create your own local group. And so what that looks like on the back end is or sorry on the front end is like this. So here's Vancouver as an example and you'll see we've got the title which is Net Tuesday Vancouver. And then we've got a big fancy logo. You just upload any image. And then we've got the description here, which is you get to write like, what am I all about? And then you've got some contact information and links to all of your social media presences. So think of that like a flavors.me or an about.me page. Since the general goal for these NetSquared local pages is once you set them up, you can walk away. There shouldn't be any extra work in maintaining them month to month as you do your events. Just keep on working in meetup.com and it will all take care of itself on this page. You'll see also that we can put in multiple organizers. So in this case Vancouver, I've got myself and Chad. We've also got the ability, as you can see here, to put in a fake Flickr group where you can suck in your images from any set. And also, if you have a Twitter group or Twitter account, you can put that ID here too and it will just display that in the left column. But I think really the meat and potatoes of this is once you put in your meetup credentials, what happens is it now brings your most recent upcoming meetup event. And so you'll see in Vancouver it's this prove it A-B testing um, and it brings in all the details and all people then need to do is click read more and it'll take them to the full meetup page where they can continue doing their RSVP for your event. And then the last thing they've got is if you've got a blog for your group you can put in the RSS feed and it will then bring in your posts as well. And so hopefully you do all that stuff and most of this is optional so if you only have parts of this that's fine the other parts will magically disappear. So once you've gone in and created a page or if you want to edit a page this is what it looks like in the back end and I'll just take you through to give you some hints about how you can work your way through that. You could ignore those errors, they'll surely go away soon. So as you see here, first of all is what is your group name? Drop in whatever that is, be whether you're a tech for good or a net Tuesday or a net squared group. You can upload your logo and ideally that's square and about 300 by 300, they want a fairly large size so they can blow it up in other places. 
Then you'll see there's a nice description area with a WYSIWYG editor. So drop whatever you want in here. You can drop images, links, but you know, just tell people what you're all about in your city. And then there's a contact email, which is how do people actually get in touch with you if they want to find out more about your group. And then of course there's where are you, your city, your location, your country. You'll notice if you fill that out that sometimes it doesn't actually know how to find you on the map and it might put you in the middle of an ocean. So should you find that once you create your group you're not located in the right place, you can go and put in your latitude and your longitude. And you can find that by using the link up here at the top at www.latlong.net and put in the address of your actual meetup group location and it will spit out these two numbers. You put them in here and it will then accurately place you upon the map. We've got this concept of region so this helps our users find the meetup groups that are in their area. So you just come in and say like, ah, what group am I in? What region? And then there's this map description field and this is sort of the one line description of your event. This is what happens when you're on that netsquare.org slash local map. If you click an individual group, a little pop-up button shows up and this is where you get the quick description so people can sort of find out about your group on the map. And you'll see it's limited to 240 characters. This is where you actually put in your organizers. So you go here and you can just type in the username of people who are part of your organizer group and this is just the username of them with their personal profiles on netsquare.org. Then we've got the key piece which is what is your meetup.com URL. If you just drop that regular URL in here then it will start to automatically bring your events onto the page and into the platform. If you don't use meetup.com because it doesn't work in your language or no one uses it in your region you can manually put in events but I definitely recommend that if you've got meetup.com you can just ignore this whole upcoming event section but if you need to use it or you've got like a conference some, some event which isn't on meetup.com you can just drop that in here manually put in the date the description the RSV link and title and URL and all that then you'll also see this is where you actually put in that blog. So if you've got a blog and you want to bring your posts automatically into your local organizer page, you can drop that here where you get to put in a title, the RSS feed, and then how many headlines would you like? And then of course you can say how often should it be shown up and are you going to get an excerpt or are you going to show the full post? And now we're going to get into the section where you get to put all of your social media links. So you can put in your Twitter handle, your Facebook URL, Google+, LinkedIn, your Flickr group, should you have one. This is where you get a particular Flickr photo set. And so you can then show the images, and this is an example right here. And then if you've got a project in the platform, this is where you'd put that. Again, you would just start putting in the name of that and it will start auto-completing and suggesting what that title is. So you'll see I'm putting in that squared camp and it will go zwee 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 z and say, okay, did I find it? There it is, net squared camp 2012. You click that and there it would fill it in and put in the ID so Drupal is happy. Now you may see some of this automatic path settings for your URL. I would recommend you just ignore all this and everything else which is closed here just like doesn't exist to you. It's all invisible. And then when you're happy, you click save and bada bing bang boom, it takes you right back to the uh, the public facing page. And it says like again, errors you could ignore. You've been updated though, hooray. And here's your fancy page. So that's pretty much the whole experience. If you have any questions, be sure to give me a shout. But otherwise, good luck with your local pages. And I think this is going to be super helpful for us because it really brings the visibility of the local events we're doing onto the platform and this international group. So good luck. Have fun.